everybody, my name is Amarika Madrigal Herrera from the Magnolia 26 and your local papel picado artist at Plaza de la Raza. And in today's video, I'm going to guide you on how to put together this fun, cute, and colorful mini corazoncito piñata. So go on ahead, gather all your materials, and let's get started. Let's gather up the following supplies in order to put together this wonderful project. After gathering all your supplies, clear an area in your table or any space that you would like to be able to work comfortably, but also put a table covering to protect your table because it might get a little messy. After cutting my heart shaped template, it's time to trace the pattern onto the cereal box with a pencil. I place my heart on one half of the cereal box and I lightly trace the heart all the way around just in case I make a simple mistake that we might need to correct. After tracing the two heart templates onto your cereal box, the bottom and the top, it's time for us to cut it but making sure to save the center portion for a later time. Okay, now that we finished cutting both equal hearts and also three equal size strips, we have to choose what kind of tape in order to put together our hearts. We can either go painter's tape or scotch tape, but in this case, I'm gonna use painter's tape. Okay, so what we're gonna do is cut out one inch size strips from our painter's tape, and we're gonna be taping it on top of the, car of the cardboard cutout of our heart all the way around as you can see in order for us to be able to stick our strip onto the heart. Now what we need to do is turn over our heart with the sticky side up of the painter's tape and you're going to use one of the strips and you're going to bend it up just a little bit to soften it up and the reason why you're going to start taping right on the edge and bringing up the painter's tape is because you're going to start giving the little depth of the heart shaped piñata. You're going to repeat that all the way around, bringing up the painter's tape and folding it in place. Okay, once you come to one of the edge, this is why it's important to have more than one strip because that's where you were going to be able to connect your second strip and also pinching it right at the end so that way it gives it the pointy edge of the heart and again bringing back the painter's tape up and folding it in place. Okay, so now that we finished taping the last strip of cardboard to our heart shaped template, we're still not gonna tape close it off yet because that's where we have a little opening to add our ribbon, string, or yarn. In this case, I'm gonna use a piece of ribbon no bigger than 12 inches long before I tape it off. Once your heart shaped piñata is taped together, it's time to pour some glue onto a small tray and your paintbrush on hand 
but also start thinking on the color pattern that you would like to decorate your piñata. Just keep in mind that whatever you're using, whether it's crab paper, glossy foil paper, or regular tissue paper, that your cuts are no bigger than half an inch to every small strip. Now it's time to pick your favorite color pattern, no more than four colors, and cut into half inch white strips, plus one extra tip. If you would like to add a tassel or a pom-pom at the bottom of your little corazoncito, cut a hole using a hole puncher. Once we cut a hole with our hole puncher at the bottom of our corazoncito, it's time to create a fringe on all of our color tissue we picked up. Using your scissors, you will need to make small vertical cuts onto the paper and you will have to repeat this for every one of your color strips that you have chosen to use to decorate your piñata. When you have created a fringe on every one of your tissue paper strips, it's time to glue them onto the piñatita. Keep a small basket to discard any extra pieces of tissue paper. Gather your tray with glue, paintbrush, and don't forget a piece of scratch paper to prevent from getting any glue onto your workspace. Start at the bottom of your piñatita by first adding the glue using your paintbrush, brushing the glue across your piñatita. Afterwards, glue down your colored tissue of your choice, leaving a bit of overhang on each side of the piñata. Don't worry, we will trim off the excess tissue once it's completely dried. I like to switch colors after gluing down two rows of the same color. When gluing down your tissue paper, the object is to layer one on top of the other to give it a skirt-like look. As you continue to glue down your beautiful color strips and are coming up to the top of your heart-shaped piñatita, continue gluing the strips across the piñata. We will cut the excess tissue shortly. Okay, after gluing our tissue strips on both sides of our piñata, it's time to trim the excess tissue paper. Using your scissors, you're going to gently, starting from the bottom and working your way up, cut all the way around the edge of your piñata. Use your basket to discard any of the tissue scraps. Take your time. Be gentle. Tissue paper does rip easily. Once you finish trimming the tissue paper on one side, you need to turn over your piñata and again, trim the excess tissue on the other side. Okay, it's time to add the edge of your piñata. I'm going to use some of my sparkly shiny tissue. After adding glue, using my paintbrush, I will glue the shiny side down on the edge of my piñata first. Now the reason why I do this is that when I pull the fringe up, the shiny part will show on the edge of the piñata.
So now that we have completely finished gluing down the edges all the way around of our piñata, the last strip we need to glue down is the center strip in order to cover up any exposed part of the cardboard. So again, we're going to brush a bit of glue using our paintbrush in the center and gently gluing the tissue down until everything is covered up. After gently gluing down the center strip, go back and check that your fringe is facing up and that it has a nice ruffled edge to it all the way around your corazoncito piñata. Okay guys, look how cute and colorful it came out. Now that we have completely finished gluing down all of our tissue paper, trimming the edges and adding ruffles throughout the edging of our heart-shaped piñata, it's time to add a little note to give it an extra touch. On your mini pendant that was included with your heart shape template, you can write down any message that you would like. In this case, I'm going to write the word Amor, which translates to love. After I finish writing down my message, I'm going to brush a bit of glue onto the pendant using my paintbrush and then gluing it down into the center of my heart shape piñata. Okay guys, the last part in assembling together your heart shape piñata is adding either a tassel or pompon. But for today, I'm going to add a pompon by threading it using this plastic needle, which you can find in any craft store. But if not, you can use a bobby pin, which will work just fine. You're gonna thread it across on both sides on the whole punch that you had done earlier in the beginning in assembling your heart shaped piñata. Once the pompon has been threaded, you need to make a small knot in order to secure it in place. Once it's tied in place, go ahead and trim any excess strings that might be showing on your piñata. Voila! You just finished putting together your very own one-of-a-kind heart-shaped mini piñatita. There are so many color patterns that you can come up with. You can also use them to decorate around your house or to present as gifts to friends and family. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.